Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the basic wiring for the SK91 series 315 megahertz transmitters and receiver. Welcome to our instructional video. We are glad you are here. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications of new Seek Alarm user and installer videos. The products we will be covering in this video are the following. SK-910RBQ one channel receiver. SK-910RB2Q two channel receiver. SK-919T1-GBQ one button pendant transmitter. SK-919T2 GNQ two button pendant transmitter. The SK919TP1H-BQ one button handheld transmitter. SK919TP2H-NQ two button handheld transmitter. And the SK91ERSD extended range antenna. Note that all Enforcer 315 megahertz transmitters and receivers are cross compatible. Now we will go over the wiring of the receiver. First, let's look at the terminal block. You'll see five terminals for one, positive power terminal, two, negative power terminal, and the three outputs, terminal three, normally open, terminal four, normally closed, terminal five, common. If you have a two-channel receiver, you will have two sets of the normally open, normally closed, and common terminals. In this video, we'll cover wiring diagrams for three common sample applications. One, a typical normally open application. Two, a typical normally closed application. Three, a typical gate application. First, let's look at the typical normally open application, a fail secure door strike hookup. Connect the receiver positive number one and common number five to the positive of the power supply. Connect the receiver negative, number two, to the negative of the power supply. Connect the receiver normally open terminal three to the positive side of the strike. Connect the negative side of the strike back to the negative side of the power supply. Here you will see the wiring diagram we just described. Next, let's consider a typical normally closed application, a fail-safe maglock hookup. Connect the receiver positive number one and common number five to the positive of the power supply. Connect the receiver negative number two to the negative of the power supply. Connect the receiver normally closed terminal four to the positive side of the mag lock. Connect the negative side of the mag lock back to the negative side of the power supply. Here you will see the wiring diagram we just described. Now let's look at a typical contact closure gate operator hookup. Connect the receiver positive number one to the positive of the power supply. Connect the receiver negative number two to the negative of the power supply. Connect the receiver comm number five to the ground of the gate motor.
Connect the receiver normally open number three to the open of the gate motor. Note that you will need to check your gate manual to get the exact connection points. Here you'll see the wiring diagram we just described. If you need the extended range antenna, first make sure that the receiver is not powered and then open the receiver case. Wire the cable of the extended range antenna between the receiver's built-in antenna and the port. Finally, clip the wire loop labeled LP3 as seen here. Note that the receiver must not be powered up during this procedure. This has been the basic wiring for the Enforcer SK91 series 315 MHz transmitters and receivers from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.